Hey guys, we're working on our Land Cruiser build today, and this is my FJ60, um, aka Sasquatch. This channel is going to be named Sask Overland, as this truck is going to be my full time overland vehicle. It's going to be completely bug out ready, inside and out, suspension, driveline, everything's going to be new on this thing. I've already started with uh, building my engine. I'm in the midst of trying to build my transmission and I've got many things on the go all at once on this, frame repairs, body work, all these different things. So I'm filming everything on it and you're going to see it. Um, I'm going to try to post a video once a week. I'm learning as I go, all the editing, everything's all new to me. So we're going to get started. I'm going to see how much work I can get done today. I got a checklist that I need finished. Um, my motor mount, I've got to finish weld uh, that all in. I've got to finish and um, make the frame plate for the right rear. You'll see that. And I also need to remove and, drain and drill my oil pan for the turbo drain. I got to clean the entire frame for paint and then from there well that could take me a few hours so it's already two o'clock so I'm late in the day today so we'll try and get what I can done. reduction in the north.
So we're gonna try to weld this panel in, and uh, I mean that's about it. So we'll clean it up. It's already cleaned up actually. So I'm all prepped. I'm all ready to start welding. I like using my uh, C-clamp style vice grips when I'm uh, welding because these, uh, these work as great grounds. My ground reach. Yeah, there it is. It's tending to fall, which is not making this any easier, but. On to the next. This is for every single one of them. Perfect. Just like that. There we go. We'll have to reinforce this really good now.
going to be repairing the back quarter sections of my frame. Uh, this is the only portion that's going to be C-channeled. Uh, I've already removed the original sections and I have patched the areas that had a couple of small holes in them. Uh, the, the frame is it's pretty pitted, pretty rusty, but that's okay. We're going to make use of what we have and uh, move on. So I ended up picking up some more 316s plate steel in the other day and I actually made my frame gussets yesterday. So these fit in perfectly. Uh, I still need to drill them and weld the back sides and then uh, I'm going to be capping off these frame holes because what happens is, you know, you do enough off-roading over time and what happens, and you know, rodents as well, they like to scurry their way in here and like to pack stuff inside the frame and I want to keep as much dust, silt and dirt out of this frame as possible to hopefully uh, keep the longevity of it um, as long as possible. So that's what I'm going to be up to today. Um, I'm also going to be cleaning up the frame. I picked up some new tools the other day so that I could get this all done. Um, I'm buying every, everything as I'm going. Uh, no big deal. We'll make use of what we have as well in this shop. So I'm going to get after this uh, and show you guys along. Already got the plate drilled. Oops, got it upside down. Uh, oh, I haven't drilled the bottom. That's okay. Just like that, I know how to drill stuff straight, so except we just come back a hair. Well, it's always a good day when everything lines up, so... So, quick recap on this now. I've got uh, all of the frame holes uh, drilled out to three eighths and half an inch uh, all along the frame here. So uh, the ones that are going half inch are all the ones for the body mounts and the, uh, and the uh, shackle brackets to the frame. So that'll be good to have all half inch hardware and three eighths for the rest of the supporting bolts. So if we come over here, we'll check out the uh, whole bracket now. This is a lot of drilling, a lot of holes. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one holes times two. Drill them all out. It's all in good fun. So, anyway, so there we are. And you know, I'll get to the body eventually. I got a whole bunch of sheet metal I picked up the other day. Um, I ground down the frame the other day where the old motor mats used to sit. And uh, of course I got to clean up and paint this whole section. So that'll be fun. Uh, I will be adding my support sections here, gussets, all the way across the frame here. Um, I have all the sheet metal over there in the corner. Honestly, I've forgotten how much sheet metal is nowadays, but uh, wasn't wasn't the end of the world. So, tried to get some more video of the uh, 
mounting these and capping off the frame ends so that we don't have any more uh, dirt and mice getting in there. So, anyways. So here's the portion of the uh, frame gusset I've sketched out. I just used a two inch piece of uh, exhaust so I can basically make it so I can weld these nicely in instead of just being a straight cut. Um, I will torch this all out because it's the easiest way for me. I could get a hole saw but um, I have the torch and yeah, I'm pretty good at using it. So I got uh, just these holes drill, um, that I'm going to cut out. Um, this is the factory hole which I've actually widened a little bit on this gusset so I can actually weld around it so no water can get in. Um, and then yeah that's the way it's going to be capped at the end. Just some half moons right there, half moons right there, it'll look great. So I'm going to chop this all out and we'll uh, get her mocked up on the frame. In about 15 minutes, give or take, you have it all cut out. You know, it's a little slower than maybe a plasma cutter, but you know what? When that's your result, all you gotta do is go around and clean it all up. You'd still have to do cleanup even with the plasma cutter, but uh, we're just gonna give this a quick, quick cleanup just to get all the oxidized bits off so we can weld this, no issues. Awesome. Hey guys, so today is a new day. Uh, it's actually New Year's Day today, and uh, Happy New Year's. I am uh, got my frame gusset cut out yesterday with the, uh, with the oxyacetylene, and I cleaned up all the holes, and I've got it all now so it's ready to weld on. Um, I will be doing the exact same process on the passenger side, so that will be for later. and. Uh, I painted the rear C-channel sections uh, yesterday and I've got that uh, mocked up and uh, partially bolted in because uh, being that it's Saturday New Year's, um, there's no uh, um, part stores open right now so I can't get uh, my half in, my hardware, I can't get a lot of my hardware right now so then I'll have to wait till January 4th, Tuesday and uh, for now, we'll just get this done. Uh, I got picked up all my metal on Thursday, so luckily uh, shops were open. Um, other than that, uh, we're just gonna hopefully wrap up the frame stuff today or tomorrow and uh, get this complete chassis painted up for uh, so I can put the body back down on it and the engine and drivetrain and everything. So there you have.
So here we are. Um, got the frame gussets done on the driver's side, completed, all finished, welded in. Um, turned out fairly well considering I, uh, I'm not a welder, so kind of learned as I went. It all worked out really well. I made all my holes, all my gussets, uh, shaped out the way I wanted to. This side didn't because I didn't realize that there was a small little rectangular hole there and I cut it all out, made my hole at the end and then realized I had to continue that little hole on. So no big deal. Uh, turned out really well. I got the rear frame section all done. I got that finished, painted, drilled. Um, I got the bracket also finished. I just had to bolt it in. Still waiting on hardware. Um, I'm also gonna, well, my um, rear shackle bushings are completely wrecked, so I, uh, I'm gonna be getting a new set of those in a couple weeks. Uh, they are not available locally to me, so I'm gonna try to get brand new shackles and bushings because these shackle uh, pins are rotted completely, so and they're pitted really bad. So the reason behind uh, going with the frame gussets is I will be adding in four link brackets to this frame and because of it's just just that it's old and it was really pitted on the inside when I had opened it up to do the uh, replacement over there. Um, I ended up adding these gussets so that I have a little extra material to uh, work with when I go to add in any, uh, you know, anything uh, frame related. So, uh, so this will have a four link set up on the rear and a three link in the front. Um, I'm still waiting on uh, ordering those parts as well from TMR in Canada. So that'll be exciting and I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, I'm still trying to source out a set of coilovers for this thing. Um, I want 14 inch front and rear coilovers um, for this so I will be um, removing this tube and adding in my own uh, which will likely sit uh, a fair bit higher and also further back uh, on the frame. It may, it's going to sit almost, it's going to sit about uh, almost a foot back. Uh, not quite. Uh, I want to say that's about, uh, yeah, almost a foot. Not quite, but either way that's going to give me a little bit more clearance on the floor because there's this channel that runs right there, right behind the gas tank, and that is probably gonna be the perfect location to mount my 14 inch coilovers as high as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get paint this painted tomorrow. It's gonna look great. So I'm done working on the Land Cruiser today. I've got all the frame guts is done. On the driver's side, I still have to finish up with uh, the rest on the passenger side. Um, I'm waiting on a bunch of parts still for my 5-speed transmission and a couple more parts for my 3B engine. Uh, though some of them have got lost in transit, so I'm just waiting for those. But for now, if you'd like, subscribe and follow my Instagram, sask underscore overland. I post pretty much every day or every second day of uh, things going on with this right now. Um, there's lots of little things that keep going on. Um, there's big things happening to this truck, so stay tuned for that. Catch you in the next video.